Hello and welcome to the course of manufacturing method. In this course, we are studying about machining and manufacturing different manufacturing method. In the last lecture, we have already talked about tool geometry that uh, of the cutting tool that is used in the uh, machining process. And after tool geometry, we have talked about our uh, tool signature and uh, before that in the last lecture we have seen the what are the various types of tool now in this lecture we, we will see about rake angle or rake surface and mechanism of chip formation and what are the type of chips that can be formed using a machining so the, let's start with this is our 12th lecture of this course and this is third module and the lecture objective are is to intro the main lecture object objective is to introspect about the mechanism of chip formation means we will study about mechanism of chip formation next we will understand about chip flow through rake and effect of the uh, what are the effect of the rake that we will see and we will see about the um, what are the different types of chips so first the mechanism of chip formation how the chip is formed so for chip formation first what happened a wedge shaped tool is made to move relative to the workpiece so that means a wedge shaped tool wedge shaped means a v shaped tool that is v shaped this is v shaped tool this is v shaped tool that cutting tool uh, I have shown in the last lecture that V-shape tool is forced to move in the workpiece so when it is forced to move in the workpiece this tip, this tool tip or this nose edge this edge makes contact with the workpiece which exerts and this by making contact it exerts some force on the metal due to and that force is compressive in nature so in that torsion in that due to those that compressive force what is happening some deformation will occur and that deformation will induce uh, some shear in the metal and uh, as the tool as the shear is as the force is increased that induction of shear is also increased and the metal starts moving over up upward along the face of the tool so when it is moving upward along the face of the tool that face that exactly that face is known as rake face and the tool as the tool advances the shearing process goes on increasing and material is removed see that when keep see in that case what is is uh, what is the process in the process is when the tool is uh, uh, giving uh, coming into contact with the workpiece what is happening at this position at the tip a compression is given due to this compression a stress is induced and due to this stress uh, shearing occurs and this shearing due to this shearing material is forced to remove and it moves in this direction and this direction is this chip flow or movement of the chip is guided by our rake face it is guided by our rake face and this is rake face and this face this face opposite to rake face this face is flank face okay so this is and this plane is here plane this is the workpiece so this is how the chip is formed in the machining process so this is a base general definition or general process of chip formation B means from this we can conclude that that chip is formed uh, from due to shear deformation now the nature of shear deformation is different in case of ductile and uh, brittle material in case of ductile material we will see in case of ductile material when the shear when the mm, uh, shear deformation or when the compression is there or the when the pressure is there at that place shear stress is generated and due to continuous generation of shear stress 
a crack may create and that crack propagates slowly through the workpiece and it won't uh, it won't so so we can get a continuous chip in case of ductile and the uh, chip will be formed from the primary deformation zone and there is another zone that is secondary deformation zone that secondary deformation zone is mainly due to the friction of the chip on the track surface of the tool that is our secondary deformation zone but in case of generally when the machining is done at high speed in case of ductile material the uh, secondary deformation zone won't create any problem so we can get continuous chips uh, due to shear deformation in case of ductile material now in case of brittle material what is happen so first due to this shear deformation due to this shear deformation what is happening due to this shear deformation our uh, work piece uh, with the chip in the chip tool interface where the small cracks are generated due to these small cracks those cracks will contain stress concentration and that in the in those cracks when the this stress concentration are increasing then abrupt breaking is occurred so due to this abrupt breaking discontinuous chip can form and these discontinuous chips are of irregular shape and size so that is how the in the brittle material the material in the brittle material the deformation occurs due to stress concentration but in case of uh, our in case of ductile material the, there won't be any stress concentration that the deformation is done due to simple shear deformation through the primary deformation zone and in that primary deformation zone what is happening the primary deformation zone for ductile or for any material for uh, brittle each and every material this deformation zone is taut taut uh, like a plate and this plate are very thin so that the the from the the start of the deformation zone can be named as a shear plane now uh, we are talking about now uh, this is the mechanism of the uh, mechanism of chip formation now we can see that what is rake and how this rake surface can be uh, can uh, uh, give us the uh, give us the surface finish or uh, what is the effect of this rect and what are the variation of this rect those are possible and what are the advantage of having advantages and disadvantages of having this type of rake so rake rake what rake does uh, the main function of rake is to remove the chip from the workpiece this function can be done by using rake sur surface so chip flows in the rake surface and the rake angle is the measure of that rake face or measure of the rake surface so now rake surface can be positive or rake angle can be positive it can be zero or it can be negative when it is positive it is positive when we do positive rake angle when the chip formation is high that means in case of the uh, in case of ductile material operation when the chip formation when there is continuous chip formation at a uh, high rate then what we do we use negative uh, positive break angle so that chip can be formed the chip can be flow out very easily next in case of zero break angle what is happening in case of zero break angle strength of the work piece is increased but it uh, the friction between the friction between the chip and tool also increases so that is the, this zero rack angle case also can be used for specific or uh, specific requirement and in case of negative rack angle those negative rack angle has been provided due to the this uh, due to uh, high when we need 
high hardness of the workpiece so that it won't break in the heavy application so that's why the negative break has been provided into the workpiece now we will see about types of chip there are three type of chip first one is continuous chip second one is discontinuous chip and third one is continuous chip with built up edge so continuous chip continuous chip means those chips which has no breakage or not segmented chip those chips which are not segmented and doesn't have any brokerage is known as continuous chip now this continuous chip or this continuous chip segment can be made by using ductile material with high cutting speed so when the ductile material such as mild steel or uh, such as aluminium such as copper this type of ductile material when they are machined with high cutting speed and the friction in the chip tool interface is very low what happened this continuous chip can be formed and this continuous chip are very much um, this type of for the continuous chip formation the workpiece material workpiece material is the surface finish of the machine surface the machine surface or surface finish can be achieved very good and the continuous due to continuous chip formation heat can be very easily heat can be very easily carried out by the chip for whole time means up to what time you means whenever you are doing machining at that time when the uh, continuous chip is formed there we can say that maximum heat is continuously taken out by the heat uh, by the chips and in case of continuous chip formation additional chip breaker should be used those additional chip breakers those additional chip breakers are used so that the uh, to manage the length of the chip so that's why continuous chip can be formed and in case of uh, another type of chips we can see that that are discontinuous chip discontinuous chip this discontinuous chip mainly formed due to brittle material uh, operation or brittle material machining and in that brittle material machining what is happened uh, uh, discontinuous chip means those chips which are not continuous that means there is breakage and this can be formed by uh, when machining of brittle material such as brass bronze cast iron etc and this is uh, this discontinuous chip this can be formed due to stress concentration or micro cracks that is generated by you by due to stress concentration so this discontinuous chip formation this is also uh, in discontinuous chip formation the uh, the need of cutting fluid is very less as the chip formation is very easy because the material is highly brittle the break or the crack will be generated very easily so that's why in some time uh, cast say people said that cast iron is easily machinable so ma this machinability does not depends upon ductility or brittleness this machinability depends upon various factors by which we can determine which material can be uh, can be machined easily and which is not so in case of discontinuous chips those material which can in which discontinuous chip can be formed the machining is somewhat easy so that's why uh, it has good machinability now built up edge formation so what we are saying in the when we are uh, dealing or when we are machining ductile material at that time what is happening when we are machining ductile material the shear deformation is taking place on the primary deformation zone or shear plane and the in when the chip is flows over the over the workpiece 
At that time, due to friction, some of the material of the workpiece, due to friction, some of the material of the workpiece got stuck or got welded with the uh, uh, chip. And that chip will force that small amount of material out of the workpiece. So, this process, this phenomena is known as built up edge formation. Now, this built up edge formation is not necessarily a good uh, good uh, phenomena because because due to this built up edge formation, the tool life or wear of the tool is increased very much. So, that's why built up edge formation should be avoided. And the built up edge formation is mainly due to machining of ductile material with high friction of at chip tool interface. So, due to this high friction, what has happened? At the chip tool interface, the temperature will be increased more than the uh, melting point temperature of the cutting tool or cutting tool material. And that cutting tool material is pressured also by using the bulk of the chip. So, so that's why it's stuck into the workpiece by by welding. Now, this is the process of built up edge formation. This built up edge formation is always uh, is very important. This come uh, into uh, semester as a uh, short note. Now, the, what are the factors that affect the chip types of chip? The factors that affect the type of chips are uh, what is the nature of workpiece? That means what is the workpiece? Is the workpiece is ductile or brittle? That is the first criteria. Second, what is the tool? The tool is hard or not hard? Tool is uh, what type of tool is used? That is second. Next, tool geometry or dimension of the tool. Third is cutting parameters such as feed, uh, feed, cutting speed and depth of cut. Next, other cutting conditions such as temperature, um, lubrication, etc. And work, uh, tool workpiece friction. The friction that uh, whole case, whole chip formation is highly depends on the friction in chip uh, in tool uh, in chip tool interface so thank you that is it for today in the next lecture we will be seeing what are the uh, we will be seeing some mathematical derivation and mathematical formulas so till then uh, thank you for being here if you have any question you may ask in the live class